Welcome to this week's Garage Devotional. I'm Pastor Ted from Connect Church in Ventura. Today we start our Christmas ed edition and it'll take us all the way up to Christmas. It'll be three parts. Today's title is Bah Humbug. That phrase was made famous by Ebenezer Scrooge, who was the main character in Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol. A Christmas Carol, I really believe, captures the modern attitude towards Christmas. Just look around at how, how commercialized Christmas has become. It's all about retailers making more money. It's about taking away the true meaning of Christmas. And after all, Christmas is a pagan holiday. Jesus wasn't born on the 25th. We should all boycott Christmas then, right? For others, it reminds them of loved ones who are no longer with us. So why do we make a big deal of it? And why should we remember and celebrate Christmas? But remember at the end of A Christmas Carol, Ebenezer Scrooge is changed when he sees what the heart of Christmas is all about. The true heart of Christmas is about the greatest gift ever given. It is the gift of our Heavenly Father's Son. He gives his own Son. Why? Because he so loved the world that he gave us his Son that we might have a relationship with him. Christmas reminds us why he was born why he was given, why he was willing to come. Christmas is a time to reflect. It's a time to celebrate and remember Jesus' birth because it changed everything. So over these next three weeks, starting today, we're going to be de-humbugging Christmas. Today, we're going to be looking at how Christmas brings hope. Our world is filled with so much pain so much suffering, injustice, inequity, but the gift of Jesus, God's Son, has brought us hope. Not just any hope, but a, a eternal hope and an everlasting hope, a sure hope. Christmas reminds us that we have hope that is available to us every day. You have hope today. It's available for you. This hope is not a pie-in-the-sky type hope that has no substance. Christmas reminds us that Jesus was born, that he was given as the promise of new life and abundant life. Jesus' birth fulfilled the promise and secures the gift of eternal life for us. Over 2,000 years ago, Isaiah the prophet said to King Ahaz, who was not a great king at all, he asked him to, for, to give him a sign that Ahaz would ask for a sign. Ahaz would not ask for that sign. He refused to ask, but the Lord gave him a sign anyway through Isaiah. And the sign was this, he tells him, therefore the Lord himself will give you a sign. Behold, the virgin which shall conceive and bear a son and shall call his name Emmanuel. That's Isaiah 7:14. And Emmanuel means God with us. Isaiah will go on in chapter 9, verses 2 through 7. I'm not going to read it all. I'll skip around through it. But says this, The people who walked in darkness have seen a great light. Those who dwelt in the land of darkness has, has on them a light has shone. You have multiplied, he said, the nation. You have increased its joy. For to us a child is born. To us a son is given. And the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and of his peace, there shall be no end on the throne of David over his kingdom to establish it, to uphold it in justice and with righteousness from this time forth and forevermore. And he finishes it with the zeal of the Lord of hosts will do this. Jesus is the light of Christmas and the gift of our Heavenly Father. Christmas is not bah humbug. Christmas, rather, is the light, the love, the joy, the hope that celebrates the greatest gift ever given. Think about that that he has promised us hope. And Christmas is all about hope. There's hope today because Jesus came. 
that where there's hope today because the incarnation of Jesus' life into this world. And he came as a baby to offer us hope. He grew to become the savior of the world. So why do we celebrate Christmas? Because it reminds us of the greatest gift ever. Why do we celebrate Christmas? Because it's without it, without this gift, we would be lost. We'll look at some more elements as we go through these next two weeks. The Lord bless you, and I pray that you just grab a hold during this Christmas season, that there's hope, there's joy, there's peace available to you today.